Shalom. First of all, I'd like to start off by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to teach yourselves and the boss of great millstone, likewise, brothers, so they put on the truth. Faithfully, fearless, see, feeding the sheep, and to you, brothers and sisters, are tuning in. Shalom. Today's lesson is titled Babylon is Struggling in Vain. Don't believe the hype, okay? And this is really uh, for you two thirds out there that are continuously sitting on the sideline. You know, mocking the prophets, driving by, honking your horn, making fun, listening, okay, to the rhetoric and the lies, okay, of the king of Great Babylon, America, which is these rulers, you know, that these these puppet presidents and puppet leaders that they set up to deceive you, okay, with vain words. Let's start off with the book of Malachi one and four, because the Lord Yahweh Shemesh has determined, okay, the judgment. That's going to come on to this wicked queendom known as Great Babylon America, okay, known as the United States of America. And that cannot be changed no matter how much, okay, these people try to struggle, you know, and, and trash about and roar and making promises that they cannot deliver, okay? This is the book of Malachi 1 and 4. It says, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. But we will return and build a desert places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shemia Shai, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh Shemia Shai had indignation forever, which we see right now. The Lord has revealed the identity of the devil, Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man. These other nations, okay, who have drunken, you know, that the, the wine from Great Babylon, America, are waking up that this place cannot save them. In fact, this place is like locusts ravenous locusts that everywhere the so-called white man touches or okay or, or or lay his footprint on okay he leave it desolate and destroyed because that's what this man is this man is pure death now i'm going to play the video from the current reigning okay sodomite king here in great babylon america and if you listen to those words very carefully okay if you decrypt it very carefully you can see where they're really in fact a building or creating Okay, a logistics here in Great Babylon, America, okay, for the demise of the people and really also for their last final attempt, okay, to incapacitate the earth, okay, and rule it in utter wickedness. Announcement hits on several key chain supply chain issues, drugs, chips, and increasing logistics fluidity. On the drug front, we have the Department of Homeland, Home Health and Human Services and the Commerce Department, who are partnering to address foreign dependency on critical drugs. HHS is going to announce the creation of a supply chain resilience and shortage coordinator, but that position will be filled at a later date. The president will also be issuing a presidential determination to broaden the authority of HHS under the Defense Production Act. This would pave the way for investment in the domestic manufacturing of medicines the president deems as essential to national defense. This announcement is expected later this week. The Department of Transportation is also announcing the expansion and participation in its digital information system known as Flow. Five of the nation's largest ports are participating, along with seven of the world's largest ocean carriers. Four of the five largest retailers, as well as logistics companies and West Coast railroads are also participating. And finally, the creation of the Department of Homeland Security's Supply Chain Resilience Center. This center will work with businesses to help mitigate supply chain disruptions. The center will also ensure the funding for the CHIPS and Science Act recipients are prioritized. The Department of Energy will also work with the center to conduct deep dive analysis on clean energy supply. And the Commerce, Depart the Commerce Department also has its own supply chain center, which will use data and analytics in creating supply chain risk assessment tools. This is all a part of the White House Council on Supply Chain Resilience, which has their first meeting today. Dom? All right, so Lorianne, this is all part of a Biden economics kind of effort here, Bidenomics, so to speak. The, the, the whole idea is the goal to cut inflation. Is that this kind of a thinking, I guess, for, for this particular move? 
Exactly, Dom. Check out this chart. The New York Fed Global Supply Chain Pressures Index. The goal is to connect all the facets of the supply chain from dock to the doorstep. Look at those numbers. See year over year? Those, that's the impact of the congestion and those sky high prices that we all lived through right during COVID. And time is money. So reducing delivery times and, av and avoiding detention costs will help kick down those price of goods. So as you saw in that video, okay, there's a lot of mention of trying to improve the logistics or the supply chain. You know, they talk about, you know, um, health related type things. You know, they, they talk about, you know, going back into to, to war era type of, you know, logistics where they where they ramp up on building things. OK, because why the 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 wicked people in dark in, in the, uh, the the hidden places, OK, who are pulling the strings of these puppet government, they understand that there is a World War Three that's going to take place. There is a decision, okay, and there is a war that's going to take place in the Valley of Decisions, okay, which Yahweh Shai Mashiach is going to come, okay, and polish off this earth of wickedness, you know, by destroying their their military forces. And so right now, really, Great Babylon, Great Babylon America, okay, that 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 uh, puppet government you saw up there, okay, standing up there, really is letting you know that they're really actually preparing, okay, one final hoorah, okay. To try to bring it, bring up their queendom, or to try to save their queendom. Okay, let's go into the book of Second Ezra 16 and Cell verse 21, because you need to keep in mind all the sentence, okay, that's already been written on what's going to take place here in Great Bible in America. So there is there is there's not going to be any type of successful Biden economics or whatever the hell he wants to call it. Okay. Instead, this is what you're going to expect. Okay, the experience here in Great Babylon America, and it says, this is the book of Second Ezra 16, and it's verse 21, it says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Now, what they would do, think about a good, a good cop, bad cop. They're both cops, and in reality, they're both working for the same jurisdiction. But what one would do is they would rough you up, beat you up and stay right in the, ref in, in, the in the confines of the law, you know, not to do anything that's going to probably, um, you know, bring any type of, um, you know, like lawsuit or whatever the case is against the department. They do just enough to intimidate you and scare you so that you're willingly either give up the information that they want, admit to something that you did or didn't do. OK. And in the end, they just move forward and case is closed. OK. In this case. What these wicked doggone leaders have done here in Great Babylon, America, and across this earth, but we're talking about specifically for here because the majority of Hebrew Israelites that's going to be either uh, getting salvation or condemnation is right here in Great Babylon, America. Is they have, they have, they've made the situation so dire, okay, so dire and so miserable that any type of relief, any type of loosening of the current chokehold that they have on the poor, which is us, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latino, is going to seem... Like it's it's great, okay? It's gonna seem like it's great. So that's the reason why Jake is gonna continue to think, wow, victuals is cheap, things are getting cheap because now you see right now, gas prices has suddenly gone down by over a dollar, okay? Just, uh, you know, it compared to how it was, you know, last year around this time, you know, they're gonna try to lower the food prices and it's gonna have this illusion that what he's doing or what they're looking to do in the, in the pretense of helping people is actually working when in fact, it's just another deceptive tactics. Let's go into the book of Psalms 55 and verse 21. It says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sword. Wages for working families have gone up while inflation has come down 65%. Giving families a little more money in their pockets and a little more breathing room for this holiday season. But we know the prices are still too high for too many things that times are still too tough for too many families. But we made progress, but we have more work to do. Let me be clear, to any corporation that's not brought their prices back down, even as inflation has come down, even as supply chains have been rebuilt, it's time to stop the price gouging and give the American consumer a break. This is nothing more about the sweet words that's coming out of, uh, out of evil men, okay? When in fact they have worn their hat. Take a look at this video in case you have forgotten 
exactly what these people are all about. In particular, this man was the one that spoke the words, okay? Do you remember this? Because see, the liar forgets his history of deceit. And you, 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 you all know what that video said, right? Okay. So again, does that sound like somebody that actually is concerned about your well-being? Absolutely not. We saw what took place afterward. We see the implications, okay, of that forceful draconian measure, okay, what it has on people today. Even so much so to their military force right now, they actually, uh, they, did, they, did, they did away with it. Why? Because they saw that it impacted their ability to go and enforce, okay, their authority or their ways on these other nations if you don't have a force to do it, okay? So there were people that, 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 that were in the force that said, hey, screw it, okay? And they got out. And so now they're left with, a media, with the, only the mediocre ones that cling on to the sweet, the, the sweet words, okay? Mainly a lot of the Edomites, but also a lot of Jakes, okay? Because why? They don't believe in the words that Yahweh Shema Shai has had written in this book and now is being testified or prophesied, okay, or spoken in the simple terms by men that the world despises, which is us, so-called blacks, Native Americans and Latinos, and in particular, the Negroes, okay? Let's go into the book of Jeremiah 51 and Sour 7. It says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, Yahweh Shema Shai, that made all the earth drunken the nations have drunken off a of wine therefore the nations are mad babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed how for her take bound for a pain if so she may be healed so this place is guaranteed to fall okay the lord gave the golden cup to great babylon america remember esau's blessing was a sword okay now isaac who was the who was a reincarnation of the mashiach okay bless esau with the sword hey go and get what you need to get by the sword, which is exactly what this man has done. That's how we can identify one of the many ways that we can identify who Esau is, which is the Edomite, the so-called white man, Amalek in particular, you know, who controls everything on this earth through rootless, bloodthirsty methods, okay? But this place is guaranteed to be what? Destroyed, because why? There has to be a heavenly kingdom set up, and the Malak is not going to share it, okay, with this wicked man. He doesn't have to. He created him. So why is, why, why is he going to share it with an abominable creation, okay, or a man that has proven, okay, that he is the wicked, all right? Let's close with the book of Second Ezra, because you wicked jakes out there, you two-thirds out there, okay, so-called Latinos, so-called blacks, so-called Native Americans, okay, need to prepare for this. This is what's going to come to you, okay, if you don't turn and repent, because you're going to get this along with all the other tribes that are here in Great Bible America. As the other apostle Gabbai said in a, in a video recently, he said, nobody will survive here in Great Bible America with the exception of the lack that's going to be beamed out of here. Everybody, ladi daddy, everybody is going to die here. Now we know that the first fruits of slavery is going to be the higher echelon of these nations. Okay, so they're going to be on the other continents or the other land mass but great babylon america america the united states of america the continental uh the continent of the united states of america is going to be destroyed and this is what you can look forward to just before the lord completely and utterly destroyed this place this is second ezra 6 and verse 20 it's down verse 22 it says and suddenly shall the stone places appear unsown the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear it, they should be suddenly afraid at that time shall friends fight against one another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run. So it's going to be all pandemonium, every man, every woman, every child for themselves. Women against women, men against men, men against women, women against children, so forth. You get the idea, okay? Even animals are going to get, going to get into the mix because the Lord is going to build, bring this place down in such a horrible fashion. No Hollywood writer could really actually really write or write a script to show you the devastation that's going to take place here in Great Babylon, America before the Lord put the final blow to this place and obliterate it so the rest of the world would know that he is the Lord of hosts, okay? And that's what's going to take place. So the title of this lesson was, you know, Babylon is struggling in vain, okay? Don't believe the hype.
okay? It's not gonna, it's, it's, this place is not gonna heal. It's to be destroyed. So Lord willing, I'd like to close out by giving all glory and all honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai by Shem Rakakadash. Double honor to teach us our lesson, the boss of great most so likewise, brothers, so they're putting this truth. Faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep and dear brothers and sisters tuning in. Shalom.